Welcome back to another painting session. I'll be doing another big painting this video. Uh, just like it would be, have been two videos ago, two mainline videos ago, where I made my sardonyx painting, finally set it right. Uh, this one will be based on another gemstone, be based on the gemstone Jade. Uh, now, I will have a bit of a inspiration in terms of landscape, uh, as Russia has quite a lot of jade, and so I will uh, mimic a tiny bit of its take a landscape. Uh, it just means that it will have mountains, trees, a lake, really like broad mountains, but that's what I mean. Just the landscape, the climate. Uh, the colors will be a blend of green and blues with a tiny bit of browns and a tiny bit of grays in there. Uh, maybe not so much as grays, but a bit more brown. brown. Uh, something different about this one is there's going to be more detail put into it on the closer up images, uh, uh, objects, I mean, because I will have little pebbles in the water uh, merging in. Now I have a lot more of those in the real painting. Uh, uh, and also a lot of other crags in the water, just like the one you see here. I plan to have a lot of those. Uh, the land will also have a bit more detail to it. Not a lot more, but a little bit more. Uh, planet is what you suspect. There will be, uh, this will be mainly cut off with the mountains, but this planet will have a ring. That will just be a normal planet. Uh, the sun will be coming up here. Uh, through a tree line that I'm going to make out of shore. Uh, but all in all, it should be fairly simple. Uh, the only thing I haven't done would be the little pebbles. Some of them I will make jade uh, and the, sh and the sh um, what they call it, the little snags on the river or the lake will also be made out of jade, or m uh, most of them anyway. Uh, raw jade stones. Uh, but yeah. Uh, should be it. Jade is a fairly unique a gemstone in how, as it looks. It's very bright when polished, very dull when uh, raw, and it has a very natural feeling to it, as you would assume for many gemstones. But some of them, like sardonyx, looks very unnatural when it has that side view from it. It's just as, um, a layered mess, but it still looks nice. Jade is just a little stone that's very bright green. Uh, I'll have trees in a, in a much darker green, uh, blues for the lake. I'll try to do some reflection in the lake, not much, but I'll have a little bit. But all in all, hey, that should be covering it. I have a lot more in the future, a lot more detailed paintings that will be coming soon uh, about different types of gemstones. So if you would like to see all of those, if you want this to be a bigger series, than just the two videos, uh, then do please let me know. Either like the video, comment down below, uh, or subscribe to the channel. I I'll know if people subscribe through this video, through the analytics. So that's another way you can do that. But without further ado, I'll get ready on the painting. Enjoy the time lapse.
And here is the finished product. <clears throat> now this took quite some time to make, uh, about the same time as the other, uh, the last two big paintings. But that's quite all right. It's becoming a theme now of me making very uh, grand, uh, re uh, related to what I've been doing previously, grandiose paintings uh, with better quality. It brings better um, usage of my skills, but as a um, as a uh, retractment from that, as a consequence, it takes longer, as any due process does. Uh, but I will count the issues of this painting that I see, uh, starting with the ring here. It's a bit wobbly. It could have been a bit curvy at the end, <clears throat> but other than that, it looks fine. The planet's rims, uh, like this one in particular, it wasn't all the way sealed, so it's a bit spotty. Some paint seeped in here and here. Space looks fine. I had to add some comments here to, it was right about here where a little drop of uh, black paint dropped, and so I had to wipe it up, but still a little dot there, so I had to cover it with a comment. I uh, did a fairly good job with that. Now the textures of plants overall is fine. The placement is all right. The rain does go through the mountain uh, in, in, like, in the depth, you can still see it in good lighting. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but look about here. You might be able to see the stretch marks there. <clears throat> uh, the mountains are fine. I could have done a lot more blue here um, because with the black, it's a bit too much of a contrast. It doesn't make that much sense. Um, if just one side is just black and shadow and the other is very blue and cyan, uh, I should have had like very dark blue on the other side. It's way too dark on the shaded side. I'll change that to paintings to come. Uh, the trees are good. I had to extend it here so it looked a bit more natural. Uh, the lighting for the trees is good. You might also notice I had to cover up here because there's a little white or light, very light tan dot that dripped up here. So I had to cover it there. Uh, the land of the shore here is good. The waves are fine. The land here is fairly good uh, with the little patches of moss, greenery, and the dirt that's there. The trees are good. Good tinting, good shadows, leaves, whatnot waves of this is fine, the little jade pebbles is, is what this is supposed to be, little jade pebbles, they look good. The jade stones here, they look very good, the good reflection on the bottom with the greens you see. Uh, the reflection overall with the mountain is a bit spotty, it's supposed to be like that, but the reflections of the rocks is a bit more spot on, even if it's just colors. Um. But now I go to the real issue, the crackling, the cracks. Uh, any of you who have stayed watching my videos that have had the similar situation, you will know what I mean when I say cracks and crackle. It is when I lay down gloss paint, uh, it doesn't really matter in what quantity in which I do so, but gloss paint nonetheless over paint that has been dry for a very long time, uh, like a day or so, or even sometimes just a, f a lot more hours. I'm very fortunate that the ocean or the sea did not do that, uh, and the rocks, the rocks didn't do that because they're fairly new. Uh, most of the land didn't, though here it cracks a tiny bit. It's a lot more linear than the web cracking. But even still, the crackling here, it kind of adds to it because it's usually just on the land. It adds a bit more detail there, uh, to that space. So it's, I, I could kind of exempt it there, but still, it, it's still unsightly for me. Uh, there's also another crackle issue. Uh, before I get to that, I'm very surprised that it didn't really reach over to other areas. Like I said, most of the trees, they're fine which I'm not very surprised about, but they are. 
um, ocean, stones. The stones overall, I wanted them to be glossed over anything. Uh, them and the mountains. So I'm very glad that they look the way they do. Uh, I'm very fortunate for that, especially these little stones. Which, this is moss stone, it's jade stone. Um, of course, I could have done a bit more detail, but if you just know the colors, there's just two options. There's moss, or it's a bit too bright for moss, or jade. And I already told you that it's jade themed, so well, it kind of has to be jade now, doesn't it? Um, I would have hoped, I kind of, part, part of me wanted a big jade stone somewhere, uh, but I, I think having it as a back burner is a bit better. In the sketch, the land was intended to have copious amount of trees, but I only had four uh, on, on the last final draft. So there was supposed to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I only had half of what's there. And even though it's half, I, I think I maintain the same feel of trees here. I think if I added too much, it would be a bit too unsightly. It would be too cramped. This is uh, much, much better. In my eyes, anyway. So I'm very glad I did that. Um, but to fill up space, I put little moss patches there. I, I didn't know if a jade stone would fit right, so I didn't do it on land. But I did do little moss that, you know, it's green, so it kind of fits the theme of green jade. So I think I did a good job on that. Some of the leaves are a bit spotty, like here, a bit too dense. Uh, not sparse enough in leaves, it's just like a block of green here. <clears throat> uh, the, the shading and tinting for the timber themselves, they're fine, except for the branches. I didn't do much of the branches, uh, but overall, I think I did a good job there. Uh, there's a little crackling here, which kind of, it's fine, it's not that much. But all in all, uh, I think I did a fairly good job. And the edge of the lake here could do some work, but that's it. That's the painting. Uh, I think I'm fairly proud of it. Uh, I don't know what main project I'm going to be doing. I'll probably have a bit more gaps even. Uh, I'll try my best to have as many shorts as possible, but I'm not going to make shorts out of anything. I'm going to make it of substance of some sort. I don't want to have like five shorts just on one painting. I'd rather be like three or maybe at the very max four. Um, but yeah, there might still be pauses in which I upload and that might be a more reoccurring thing. Um, unless I have more time over the summer. But that's that's besides the point. Uh, but all in all, I, I'm fairly proud of this painting and I hope that you all are too. I hope that you all have enjoyed uh, your stay in this video, in this painting session uh, with me. Have you uh, watched the time lapse, listened to the music? I hope that you all have enjoyed it. And I hope that you all will tell me if I did good, if I did bad uh, in the painting, in the video, in my commentary, if there's any other criticisms or compliments that you have about this painting that I did not share, or you simply want to. Uh, speak it again for emphasis and please please feel free to do so uh, down in the comment section below you could also just simply like the video or you can ultimately subscribe to the channel if you like what I do spray painting videos uh, mainly in, or only in landscapes and sometimes in space in general that's what I do here and if that's what you like then this is your one-stop shop or anything like that I think I do a fairly decent job. I try to teach to the best of my ability. If I do tutorials, which I do have quite a bit of them, if you'd like to see them. Uh, but all in all, um, I hope that you all have, again, enjoyed today's painting, or tonight's painting session. And until next time, whatever painting I may be making with you, or simply with myself, I hope that all of you will accompany me on that painting, whatever that may be. And until next time, I hope that all of you have a great night. Bye-bye.